We go live every Saturday night and we show you the junk that we have purchased. We tell you what we paid, what we're going to sell it for, and we have everything pre-listed at jrvhome.com. Caitlin is on here, so she'll be dropping links. If you're watching the replay, I suggest you click that live chat so you can see what everybody's talking about and so you can see the links if there's anything left because usually the good stuff goes the first night. Woot woot. All right, if you're new here and you love junk and DIYs, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up on this video. I'm gonna pull up comments. My lovely co-host is coming around. I'm the camera guy. I was gonna say handsome, but I thought lovely was appropriate. <laughs> it just felt right today. I can, I can do all the things. You can do all the things. All right, I'm gonna show these first so I can move them. Set of three candlesticks, $12 for the set. So we've got one, two, three. They're all the same design, but different sizes. They're gonna be painted, they are resin. Um, okay Lighting is the brand. I've never even heard oh, of that. Speaking of lighting, let's get some oh, light. Oh, I'm like, it feels dark, Seb. I feel dark. Any minute. Oh, okay. Is that better? Whew. The studio guy's falling asleep on the job. The setup was taking a long time today. All right, so I bought these under the glass at the thrift store, 12 bucks, and we're going to sell the set for $39.95, which is just over $10 a candlestick, and they are going to get painted in wax. That's a pretty good deal, considering that like this one is probably like a $25 one, new or more, depending and on where you, you got it And maybe you like the current... 1995 look situation but me not so much this one actually does have a crack in it that's been repaired but once it's painted you won't even notice and it's going to be pretty all right all right next Ooh, that comes off les says she likes my long hair it's down tonight because i just took a shower i did put on makeup normally i don't put on a makeup when i shower on saturday night but if you guys have been watching along all week i had a face pill and a micro needle on monday so I haven't got to wear very much makeup all week because I've been peeling. So today's the first day I could like wear makeup. So I'm super excited. All right, you're gonna have to help me out here because it you, looks you like- You don't know what that is? This looks like <laughs> a powdered sugar shaker. It's a ginger jar ginger. set. Ginger. So this is the ginger jar. The ma manufacturer no is Victorian Garden. Is. Very granny chic. Got a little lid there in really great shape. Um, exclusively for homework dogwood. And that would be what you would probably put your um, cologne in, like a decanter. It's got a cork on the top. And then this would be for your powder, you are correct. But not like I was thinking. Food. I was thinking like powdered sugar. Yeah, $22.95 for this set. I'm always. This set is part of, if you're new here, you might not know, recently I bought 34 tubs of collectibles for a grand total of $350. They are all new old stock. This is part of that. These are like were originally about 15 to 20 dollars each and i'm selling this out for 22.95 i'm always ready Ooh. for pancakes Katie and thinking in about Canada food is awake for saturday night live all right yes odelia you can have the rest of my sunday it's gonna melt by the time the live video is over <laughs> i was eating an ice cream sunday and putting everything on the video so all right one of the cooler finds this is cast iron is it it oh, is cast looks iron. Looks like they welded it too. It's had it a, is it's, a bell. It's had a repair. It's a Marlene special. It does not have the dinger. And I put that in the description. Pretty easy to just tie a little piece of chalk. Piece of chalk on a string and then you've got something that rings if you wanted to. But awesome little, little sign here that kind of hangs off the side with a bell. Or you don't put any dinger on it and you just have like a bell and you just hit it like when it's time for meals. Oh, there you go. That could come in handy at the farmhouse, but I am going to sell this one. It is $22.95 and it's a good size. Marlene came by and dropped that off. Did you see that? Were you at the shop? I have a big Trumeau mirror frame. Like it's ginormous at the shop, but we actually can go pick I it up. I didn't see it. And then Marlene dropped off that too. And then I gave her that chippy green coffee table. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was an exchange. I remembered how much stuff she'd given me and she said she liked it. And I was like, how about you take that? <laughs> one less thing. Is that the coffee table that we picked up from New Mexico? That one? What? The one that we picked up from New Mexico? Um, nope, picked it up at DI. The New uh, Mexico coffee table is still on the back porch, unfortunately. We, we picked it up over a year ago and haven't painted it. Actually, it's been two years, I think. 
Paula says she has one of those. Paula, what is your dinger like that's in the inside? I don't even know what you call it. Oh, happy birthday, Anna. Happy birthday. Donna just ate three Costco chip, chocolate chip cookies. The big ones or the little ones? No judgment either way. I, you know, I'd be sad if you didn't eat the big ones. Those ones are delicious. Caitlin awesomely pinned the thrift haul to the top of the live chat, so you can click that at any time. All right, so we've got press tin frame. The saying is not bad, but it's very kind of cliche, you know. 1995. So we're going to change it, <laughs> I would imagine. Yes, we are. It's going to get painted, and I don't know if we're going to get a transfer or something cool in the middle to give it an update. It's going to look, and it's already got like the hanging hardware. It was $5, and we're going to sell it for... Who's saying hi, mom? <laughs> Somebody must be logged in as me. Um, and it's $22.95. Oh, it's Caitlin. She's probably talking to Deborah, which is her mom. Makes sense now. $22.95 paid $5 for it. If you guys love to make signs, I suggest you go to the thrift store and find existing signs. They're much cheaper than blinks, usually more interesting and good for the environment because it's not new product. It's something that was used for something else. So this might be a little hard to see. It's, it's a, a long... <laughs> It's not a poker. It's for hanging stuff. It's a wreath holder. Is that what that is? It is. Or a sign holder. I mean, you can have an open sign on it or, so or pick up your dog's poop sign on it. It's wrought iron and then cast iron on the bottom. Yeah. I paid $5 for it. It's probably what? Like two and a half feet tall? Yeah. Easily. I'm going to sell it for $22.95. It screws in here, so we'll probably unscrew it when we ship it. It's still rather long to ship, but... Christy will love me anyways. Christy's my <laughs> shipper. Christy and Jean. How many coats of DIY paint do I use on a chalkboard? Less. It really depends on what the base coat is underneath. Like what is it covering? Is it shiny? Is it raw? If it's raw wood, two coats should be more than sufficient. And then make sure you let it dry completely. Season it with a piece of chalk and give it a few days before you use it as a chalkboard. All right. Let's see. Oh, it's a clapper. That's what's in the bell. Yeah, there you go. This is Don't a half. Don't be getting too attached to that stein. This I is see. a half liter. It's a beer stein, I think. I don't speak German. Wurzburger Hofbrau. That's what I'm gonna say. It's, that's you know, that's my best. Our German is not best great. attempt. I, I have been working on my Swedish, but my German not so much. Half a liter. It's from West Germany, and the company is on the bottom. If you want to check the little tag there. So you know it's a little bit older if it's West Germany because now it's just Germany. If you don't know, if you don't remember Germany and West Germany, then you must be a, is it Gen Z? I don't know. <laughs> I can't keep track. Um, it's $12.95 for that stoneware stein. It does have a crack in it, but I mentioned it in the description. Okay. Tarnished silver. This looks like it probably had like a little spoon or something with it. Spoon's gone. Right? We don't so, have the spoon. No, but I thought it looked very Little Mermaid. It does look very Little Mermaid. Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? If you're the girl who has everything, you need this. It's tarnished silver, has a glass insert inside of it. It has little feet and a little pull to open it. I think it'd be really cute to store your jewelry or earrings, like rings, earrings, things like that. And but because it has the glass, I think originally it was probably made for food. Because generally when they put those glass inserts, it's so that way your food doesn't get in contact with the silver. But $19.95, I paid $7 for it and it came from the collectibles. All right. So tell me about this. It's got, it used to have little butterfly knob pulls. Yes. I am going to sell it as is because I actually think it's really cute. Okay. Um, I don't want to paint over that. It does need new knobs, and I mentioned that in the description. It would not be hard to take those off and just drill through it and put a cute little knob, whatever you wanted on there. The shell is an ashtray. Oh, there you go. That's why or, it's got you the know, slot. We're always recreating ashtrays because not very many people smoke anymore. So, um, Let's see. $16.95 is how much I'm going to sell it for. How much did I pay? For this, it was $3. $3. $3. It's really, really cute. I almost painted over it, and you could, but I just think spring is coming. People are thinking about butterflies. So if it doesn't sell tonight, I will put new knobs on it, and then I'll charge more in the shop. It's three little drawers on there. It, it feels like birdhouse style, but it's got three little drawers. Yeah, and Deb loves what? Little drawers. Little drawers. 
He gets it from his mama. Yep, it's good for organizing stuff. All right, let's talk about this. Okay. So it's got some cracks in it, which is cool, but I did not know when I picked it up. I was like, oh, that looks like a little stoneware doggy dish. So this company has been around since the 1700s. Um, I don't know exactly how old the doggy dish is um, or what it's made of. So test it before you decide to put your dog's food out of it. But I did include the description of where it comes from in the description because I did a little research. I just typed in the name, which is, I think, Shets. Can you look on the back of it? Um, is it Shets? Sprouts. Sprouts. Sprouts Patent Limited in London, made in England. Um, and they make dog bones. And their original 1700s building is next to the river. So that way they could get fish out of there and turn it into processed dog food. There you have it. Does the middle drawer go on the bottom? Are those drawers in the wrong order? They probably are. Oh yeah, you're probably right. What sandpaper do you use when preparing stamps? Um, I like to use 220 when I'm preparing IOD stamps. There you you're go. Right. Look how much better that looks. Okay. So I'm gonna show this. This is one of those corbels for like a curtain. Yeah, so I don't normally buy those when they're singular, but look how cool that is. It is cool. We're going to paint and wax it. And I just think it'd be really cute in a vignette. Um, just as a single corbel, just for decor. That's it. Sometimes I just buy stuff because it's pretty. <laughs> I mean, all those card details in it are really pretty. Somebody put some really yucky glaze. Like, it looks dirty. Mm. But we're going to fix it. It looks like oil has been spilled on it. Well, somebody did that intentionally. Yeah. It's not original. No. No, it's not. Moon says she loves it. Lolly bought that. I am not surprised, Emma. I actually saw you bought something. I think, did you buy some of that candy? I thought I saw your order come through for that. Um, just a little like heads up on the candy. It's been doing very well, not just online, but in the shop. So yep. if you guys have a retail booth or retail store, I suggest having candy by the checkout because we have kind of a vintage shop. We have vintage inspired and European candies. And we sell one out of every two people that came in today bought one or 18 pieces of candy. One or 18. Well, and also if you need a snack, like you just write one out of stock and you're done. Well, yeah, for us. I tried out the uh, egg that has the caramel marshmallow chocolate situation. It's by far the best thing I've tasted. So fun little uh, cloche. So it's a vintage cheese mold. It's got the old, you can kind of tell that it's vintage because cheese mold. of- Cheese Sorry, cheese. Clip, like trees tray, sorry, cheese tray. Because look at the feet. See how old those screws are in there? Yeah. To me, it looks like 70s-ish. Mm, I don't know. I would say that it's probably been through the dishwasher is why those look like that. No, but just like the, how old the screws are. Anyways, whatever. It's cool, it's vintage. They sell them for 60 bucks brand new at the Crate and Barrel. So for $39.95, you can have this one. That's vintage and the glass is thick. Yeah, like the, it's it like is, and it's got all this, the, way and the knob top. is solid. Sometimes you get the knobs and they're hollow. hollow. Yeah, so that's kind of indicative of vintage too because modern day they try to use the less material as possible and this one it's all thick on the top. I paid $10 for it and it was in the collectibles. I'm trying to hide this because I didn't arrange my curtain and Mariah is fixing that. So I'm just gonna leave it. Oh, while we're on the subject, I keep forgetting to show this. Leslie says, I need not old or fancy corbels. Yours are sold out. We have some that are available. Email Caitlin and let us know which ones you want. So real quick, I wanted to show this. Brian and Julie Hong sent this quite a while ago, and I keep forgetting to show it, and I just wanted to tell them thanks. Um, the Gathering Stones, and you can find them at uh, sculptorbrian at gmail.com, and they are... Uh, Oh, I don't know what that is. It looks like, is that Minnesota MN? I don't know. I don't know my state abbreviations like I should. But speaking of cheese stones, we got one. So thank you. You said I was sitting behind comments. It depends if you're holding your, uh, it depends if you're holding your phone this way or this way or if you're watching us on a TV. Oh. It came with a little knife. Oh, no. I don't know where it's at. The kids have probably used it to duel with already. Yes, probably. All right. Oh, Delia's talking about her hair. She's wanting to cut it. Cut it short. I tell her don't do it. You'll be sad. 
but she's probably gonna do it anyway because she's 15. Susan, if your decoupage paper is MIA with the post office, you can email customer care at jamiereventage.com. Caitlin will take care of you. But just to give you a heads up, Deb ordered shoes and they came from the other side of the country and they took two weeks to get here instead Over two of two weeks. days, they, oh, like they, two and a half weeks. So I ordered them Saturday. They're like, you'll have them by Wednesday for sure. Oh yeah, we ordered them before Valentine's Day. Yeah. And they just got here. Yeah. So be patient with the mail system. It's hit or miss, it just depends on which areas and legs, but if it never shows up, we will make sure you get it. So get was this whole set $25? Um, yes, but not that set, like a bunch of sets. So all of that stuff. Okay, I'll show it all here. Okay, so this is resin and it's got, this is just a fun medallion with a chain on it. I imagine it's for hanging something off of the ceiling, um, but I don't see how you attach it to the ceiling. So I'm actually going to take this whole situation off. It looks a little like, I don't know, like a torture device. So we're gonna take those off. <laughs> and it, it, this set comes with these three pieces for $29.95. And it might look kind of ugly, but I promise you once we paint it, it's gonna be so cool. Sally says, all my packages from the past few weeks arrived. Yay for spring. All right. Sally, thank you for that super chat. All right, so that's $29.95 for that set. I think you're going to be very excited about the next set. So this I, is, I paid $25 for all the things we're going to show you that look similar. There are like a hard resin plastic in their home. Range. I'm going to bring them close. I don't feel like you guys are truly capturing the detail. The medallion goes in the middle with a picture on each side. It's all right. I don't think anybody needs chains. If you buy it, the chains are not coming. All right, so these to me are very just like European castle chateau situation. The coloring's bad, but they just need a new job in wax. Well, there's, I, I'm guessing they were going for like aged bronze look. So this set is gonna be $39.95, and these two soldiers are why I bought the entire set for $25. Because while they do appear kind of ugly, they're going to be awesome painted and waxed. So $39.95 for those set. And then the last piece, piece is, is the Speaking set of, of mirrors. mirrors. Here's the mirrors. We have two mirrors like this. My mom had these. Comment below if you've had any vintage home interiors in your house. So there's two of these. And they're going to be $39.95 painted and waxed for the set of two. So I paid $25 for all of that home interiors. And I'm going to sell it for... 90, 110 painted and waxed. So a pretty good profit margin. 25 bucks sounded like a lot, but when I broke it up and realized how much I could make once I painted and waxed it, the profit margin was there for me. Debbie says I used to sell it. Leah says I've had some. While I'm up here. Jennifer gonna... says mom had those and the chains. Nice mom. I like that you I'm have gonna show the, the galvanized the torture chains. Um, let's not. With the four feet. Let's not shine people on the bottom. So I paid four bucks for this, and it's got bees. Show them the bees. I was that's showing them the bees. That's the best part. Okay, and I'm not going to paint that because I couldn't decide if I wanted to paint it and wax it or if somebody would want to, like, paint it and then paint out the bees really cute on it. Um, apparently, people like the home interior situation because the mirror sold. Also, some of the Hummel sold. We haven't even showed those yet. Okay. So someone was saying that they found a place, a perfect spot for their Hummel in their house that they got from us. Kayla says, the... I am confused. So I paid $25 for all that gorgeous home interior situation. And I sold, this, I'm selling this for $29.95. These two guys for $39.95 and those mirrors, I think $39.95. I'd have to look at it. Anyways, you doing some fuzzy math over here? It's all on the website. <laughs> um, metal planter with bees is $12.95 for that planter. So I'm, I don't know, but I think that's for a hose. It is for a hose. <gasps> yes, I guessed it right. You weren't here. And it's very so cool, guess. and it's actually metal. Usually these are plastic, and they... And there's the screws. Yeah, it has the screws that come with it, looks like. And usually these are plastic, and they fall apart in probably like a year or two. Kaylin says she was reading comments, and she got confused. And I oh. love it. It's, it's kind of Frenchy blue, purpley. I don't know, periwinkle, I don't know. The color's good, it's a little bit rusty, it comes complete with a little bit of cobwebs. Um, what, oh, my mom would like to show you. She has them. The Jamie's mom has them with she's her. She's not she's, selling these. She's not selling these them. These are made in Italy, mom, these are better. These are metal. But they're home material. Yeah, so careful, that one's a little loose. One of my mom, she just brought them from her room. Are we putting these in your room? So on a room decor video near you, we are gonna granny chic that room out. 
My mom's going to Arizona. But this is actual brass. Yeah. Well, I'm not going <laughs> to paint this. This is staying the way these are. My mom's going to Arizona with my sister, and while she's gone, we're going to make over her room. Yeah. She said we could, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mom, you can have these back. Thanks, Mother. She watches us she in the other us room. and they watch us in the other room. Oh, did you, are you, this was part of that. Did we show oh, this? That is, maybe that's why that, the math is weird. Yes, so this is also, but this is being sold separately, and it's like a corbel shelf, but it's got a hole in the top um, for flowers, greenery. Gotcha. Nice. Um, and that was part of the $25 set and I, I'm going to paint it and wax it, but I photographed it. So if you see the picture, it looks like this because I like, I'm not going to hang something on the wall to take a picture of it. So this one, I can't remember how much I put that one for, maybe $18.95 painted. I'm going to wait till Caitlin drops out. All right. Tell them about this basket. I'm going to clear some things out and oh, take them over there. $18.95. All right. So this basket is perfect for plants. So spring is coming. It's a, is this metal or... Cast. It's heavy. It's not like tin. I don't think it's cast iron. I think it's just metal. And it was $3. And you could put a potted plant in it. You could use it as a really bougie trash can. I mean, I don't know. You could probably flip it upside down and make a really cute lampshade too with one of those Edison bulbs. So this one is really a fun planter. And it's $12.95. So planter, trash can, light fixture, whatever you want. I always love metal and I'm gonna sell it as is, but it would also be really cute painted and wet distressed. Are you taking my soldiers? I am. I'm I knew you would on. like the soldiers. I do like the soldiers quite a bit. Yeah. Just trying to clear some stuff up. So we off sold, here. oh, we have not shown this. That is actually tree. really cool. The handles on that and the fact that it has its spoon. So, yeah, this soup terrain. I'll show you guys closer. It's remnant of out. ironstone, but I dare not call it ironstone because I have been told that ironstone only comes from, was it England? Anyways, I don't care. You guys can see my mess under the sink. I'm moving to the center. Okay, so I paid $10. It has, when in soup tureens, finding all the parts is rare. So we've got the lid. We have the ladle. We have the terrine with the lion's heads. And we have Let me show this close. the plate underneath. It's California USA 298. And it's vintage California pottery. I have seen these around a hundred bucks, but not complete. So I'm selling this set for $69.95 and it is complete, so it's a good deal. Um, it's a little bit higher end, a little more of a bougie item, because guess what? You gotta pay to play. So if they don't wanna buy it, it's gonna live at my house, because it's awesome. I just love the lion heads. I know, you want it. Once you saw that lion's head uh, water spout for the tub on homework, you've been wanting lion's head, so I thought you'd like that. All right, so this is a little spool um, candlestick situation. It's a little chippy, made of wood. I actually thought it was resin, but the bottom is wood. And it was $3, and I believe I'm selling it for $8.95. Oh, you wanna see the frame ceiling tin? I will get that for you. Can you hold this up? Oh, I have it right here, this? Yeah, it's big. No, no. The big one. No, the big mamma jamma, that's a baby. The big white one, it's on. Oh, it's over there. I didn't even bring it, oh apparently. Oh my gosh, it almost, it's like three, it is three feet. Hey, walk on your toes. One, two, You're shaking the whole three, house. four, five, six. It's just over six pieces of shiplap high. So I haven't reinforced the old part of the house. So if you see the camera shaking, it's held up by two by six floor joists. Traditionally, you would want those to be about two by tens. All right, is it in the screen? <laughs> so it's like from oh, my wow, head to my hip. Oh wow, that thing's huge. <laughs> That's why it's so expensive because it's going to cost a lot of money to ship this situation. Yeah, this thing's um, big. I paid $15 for it. Oh, the spool candlestick was $8.95 and it's sold. And it's going to be $69.95 once it's painted. It's like a ceiling tin. It's not an old one. You can see on the back. It's probably a reproduction, but it's a good one. It's framed and it'll be amazing painted. And it would look really cool de in decoration. And that one is going to be painted weathered wood and white wax. And I want to make it look like our ceiling tin that we have on our shelves. Oh, yeah. Over here. We used to sell that one, but they don't carry it anymore. That one's so. really good. Yeah. Okay, I've got a hermetic jar. I feel like it wouldn't be a thrift haul without a hermetic jar. This um, one is yeah. square, though, and very big, and I like it a lot. It's. I've not seen one like this before. It's kind of like the bluish green glass. Definitely vintage. And 
when you buy these, if you get the old ones, my sister Deborah told me you can buy new hermetic seals mm -hmm. if they've like dried out. This one seems to be okay. Yeah. Um, and it was three bucks. You now, find them pretty easy online. If everything is blurry, check out your resolution because I'm watching the replay on my phone in 5G and it seems to be okay on my end. All right, so that jar is $14.95. Definitely large enough to be your cookie jar. All right, we've got some hummingbirds. Nope, let's let's bring out the actual hummingbirds. You want to bring out all the hummingbirds? Okay, I want to talk about the hummingbirds because I want to be very, I we'll want to be very serious for a minute, okay? Serious looked, talk time, folks. These hummingbirds were $30 a piece on Poshmark. And they're beautiful, but they have a problem. Some of them have, some of them have shortened beaks. So I photographed them with the ones that were not broken, but I'm only selling this entire set and I'm going to, I'm going to pull it out so you can see it for six. Oh, I thought that was a bug um, for $69.95. The reason why I'm selling it so cheap is because I anticipate that a couple of these um, beautiful beaks may possibly get broken in transit. We're going to do everything we can to get them to you, but I'm not refunding you if one of the beaks breaks. And I'm also going to send you all the ones that I didn't photograph that are already broken because if you're like me, they're pretty, so you'll want them anyways. Here's this one. I'm so the brand is, all close. oh gosh, uh, Bradford edition. Yeah, Odelia was like, holy Batman. So I made Odelia, it's a mobile is what it is. And they have all these little birds. I made Odelia hold it up for like 500 years. Let me see if I can find the mobile part. The mobile's really beautiful. Here's another bird. This one is teal. So if you wind up getting three birds or two birds in the mobile, you've got your money's worth for sure. <laughs> and I'm hoping they all arrive alive. I just, I, they, I don't have the original box and I'm like, oh my gosh, how are these going to make it? I figure- Well, they quick. probably had the mobile all together. And then when our friend got it, they probably just packed it up. Thanks, Leslie. She's giving you guys how to change your resolution. She's a regular on here, so she knows. This one is beautiful. They have um, fl floral flowers on their bellies and on their wings and then rhinestones. I'm almost there to show you the mobile. So the mobile has florals on it. It has a chain and it has fishing wire. And on the end of the fishing wire, there's these little like jewelry clasps and they hook to the top of the birds. And so then the birds, I'm not gonna do it because it's quite the ordeal. The birds hang from here. Yeah, I'll show them this. It's really pretty. It's got like an opalescent paint finish on it. Very Victorian for sure. So I'm selling for $69.95 and when I looked it up, the birds were 30 bucks each on Poshmark. I was like, what's a good price? That we can package it with all of our mites, but if a few beaks break, you'd be all right. So there's, I think there's three birds that I did not picture in the listing that have broken beaks. Um, and I'm going to throw those in just in case you do want them or whoever buys it. I don't there's know, maybe nobody likes the hummingbirds. No, they're awesome. They look they're pretty cool. cool. And what I'm thinking is we are going to box up each one individually. We have these little four by four by four boxes. And I think that's going to give them the best... Oh, this one's like a little pale pink. That one's pretty. The best chance of survival. We're going to wrap them in bubble wrap and we're going to put them in individual boxes with packing peanuts and then we're going to say a prayer and a Hail Mary and everything else. Okay, I'm going to put them on their wings because that's more sturdy than the beaks. Yeah. And then you can wrap them up. I'm, I'm going to show these Show crocs. them some other stuff. Because I'm going to also show these crocs up close because we've the got... The crocs are a funny story. We've got tea. T has a cracked lid and I put that in the listing. It's It's been repaired with something really good because it's sturdy repair. Yep. So the, here's a story about these crocs. They're $7 I paid for all three of them. And I showed, this guy was standing kind of to the side of them with one of the workers from the thrift store. And I went to her and she said, oh, he's gonna buy those. And I said, oh, you are? I said, I don't see your cart. And he's like, well, I was waiting for the manager to give a discount. And I was like, a discount, how much are they? They're seven bucks for all three Crocs, which is a deal. And I was like, I'll pay full price. You don't have to get the manager. And I said, but you get first dibs, right? Because you're here first. And he's like, well, I have to think about it. I'm like, it's okay, I can wait. So I just stand, 
down there. I was being totally nice, but he was starting to talk him down from $7 for three of them. And then he's like, nah, you can have them. I was like, cool. And the lady at the thrift store was like, I love you so much right now. That was so fun. Don't you sweat it, Jen. We haven't forgot about it. What? She's wondering if we're going to mention the collab that we just did. Oh, that, yeah. Jen that the link there. wasn't working. I like to wait because we only have... How many people are on here? There's 869, 869. on. We usually, if about, about 10 more minutes, we usually hit about 900 people. I want to make sure we get most. We did a collab this week. And so if you go to our video. Are you just going to tell the front, I'm going to tell you and then I'll tell you again later. If you go to the video of the front porch, our link in the description is not working, which really stinks because everybody else in the collab is in our business coaching and they all worked really hard on their springtime videos. So if you go to our video and you click into the comments, we have a pinned comment on the top. And if you click that, it'll take you to the collab. And Caitlin, if you're on here, can you copy and paste that and put that in comments for me? So that way you guys can click there after this video and watch all the springtime videos because they worked super hard and technology was working against us and it wasn't a problem with our link. It just would not work in the phone app in the description. So it was super fun. And I don't know if you guys know, but a lot of the people in our business coaching are starting out on their business. They're working really hard on their YouTube channel and making YouTube videos when it first started, like it sucks. It takes forever. So they put a ton of um, effort into them. I just want to make sure that you guys get to watch them. Um, Is that a dachshund? No. No, it's just a regular Looks dog. Like a it's called the freeloaders. I'm assuming it's talking about the birds because, you know, if you get a couple chickens in on uh, some scraps, this is a frying pan. If you've ever watched chickens or have chickens, they're omnivores. They'll eat just about mm -hmm. everything. Uh, and then the poor dog is ha the onlooker, probably intended for him, but you know, um, it, it's cracking me up a little bit because I've had chickens most of my life. <laughs> and they're aggressive when it comes to table scraps. They love them. <laughs> so this is Lowell Davis. We have quite a few of his statues we're going to show you guys. Lowell Davis recently passed away and his um, statues and figurines sell somewhere upwards of a couple hundred dollars. Sometimes. Well, so this one was originally marked and I'm assuming it's probably from the 80s because that's when most of this stuff is from um, for $230 in the 80s. Yeah. So I'm not selling it for that. <laughs> That is $39.95 in my world. So, um, and if you're just tuning in, you're like, why is she selling all of this collectibles that are hundreds of dollars so cheap? Hummels for 30 bucks because I have 34 tubs. So my abundance is your deal. Since I'm up here, I will be the voice beside the camera that shows you all of the collectibles that we have from this week's tub offering. This so is the little the hiker. hiker. So the Hummels range in price from $19.99 to $39.99. This is the largest Hummel that we're offering today. Um, and they usually sold for between $180 and $250 originally. Um, and they are global Hummels from Germany, made somewhere in like the 80s or 90s, most of them. <laughs> Margie says she's buying all the Hummels. All right, so these are dream sickles. Do you remember these? Cute I, little angels. I don't have Dad, any you recollection don't, you don't of these. Remember dream sickles? I don't know what these are. <laughs> How did I miss them? How did I miss him? I don't know. They're all on there. So when you're looking at the Hummel skies, when you click the variant, the picture of what the Hummel looks like pops up. So pay attention. I know sometimes people get confused by that. So and Caitlin just linked. Oh, $29.95, $19.95 to $29.95. I thought one was $39. Is that one not showing up? Hold on. So Maybe while you're looking there. for that one, this reminds me of being at Versailles and Debbie running around Marie Antoinette's, uh, I don't know what they called it, but she had her own separate space that she decorated. Oh, her, like, Marie's castle. Yeah. Her, whatever. <laughs> her chateau, I don't Little know. Little hiker, thirty four ninety five for that one. It, it is on there, Margie. All right, just making sure. Okay. So back I don't know if you noticed this when you were listing it, the lace back here. Yes. So okay. there's a couple, there's a little bit of damage. I'll show in the you lace, guys. And he's missing a finger. But do you want to tell him what this one originally retailed for? Originally, get ready for it. This was $520. 520 And I actually saw one on another site for 700 and something euros. So the actual Ooh, maker. That's, that's like 
That's a lot of money because your rows are worth more. Yeah, that's probably like eight hundred. Lisa says bucks. she loves dreamsicles. Sorry, I did not give you the price on these dreamsicles. Um, I don't actually remember. Caitlin, oh that that one is twenty nine ninety five, and he does have some lace damage and a missing finger. But five hundred dollars down to twenty nine ninety five. If you want to be bougie French on a budget, there you go. Yes, Dresden is high dollar. My mom has several pieces. They have all their fingers. The dreamsicles do have all their chubby little fingers. The French guy, he's missing a little bit of this one, but maybe it was an accident before they made it. I don't know, just kidding. Oh, um, $12.95 for these. I missed them. Caitlin put these up. All right, moving them. I'm moving the dream sickles next to the French. For all of you buddy Fancy artists Frenchy. out there, this is another Lowell Davis. Raquel bought the hummingbirds. Now Raquel, do you understand? They were not guaranteeing perfection and arrival. We're doing our best. <laughs> Just making sure you watch that. We're gonna put each of them in a box with bubble wrap and packing peanuts, and then we're gonna pray. I love all the little paints in there and the brushes on this one. <laughs> Jamie says, yeah, you will love them. All right, so that one is part of this other set. It's a twofer. Oh, which, this one? Yeah, so that's part of the artist set. This one does not have its original box. But it has a peanut, bonus peanut in there. Oh, bonus peanut. $39.95. These do retail some of them upwards of $200. I believe he did sign the back of it because there's a note. Unless that's a really good print. Uh, and this one, I believe, was part of the private collection of the person that I purchased it from because this one is a little bit dusty and I think the note might have been to them. So this one's a really fun set. Raquel says she understands. All right. Because Christy would be like, are you kidding me? I can't ship this. And I'm like, listen, Christy, I know you are shipping Ninja. So we're going to do all that we can. <laughs> and then this is also a Lowell Davis. Does this, is this separate? That's separate. It's called uh, Bird in the Hand. And it's two little birds. And there is a cat very mischievously waiting for them. Watch. I thought that was kind of funny. Raquel says, LOL. <laughs> Margie says Hummel's totally worth missing state conference. Margie, you can get the Hummel's anytime. There's actually more Hummel's on the website that haven't been sold yet. So if you just search the word Hummel, you'll get a few of them. All right, I think that's all the collectible okay, stuff. Okay, how much is the bird bath? I think it was $12.95, but I'm waiting. Odelia says, I just like all the Hummel's. So Odelia is an 85-year-old grandma at heart. And so when I am opening up all these collectibles, she's over there like, ooh, ah, oh, can I have that? I'm like, listen, you can't have 452 collectibles. Where are you going to put them? You have glass shelves in your room. If you guys saw her room, over, and when they're full, you're done. Okay, we have, I'm going to throw this out there and say that this is etched crystal. Or if it's not, no, it's, it's a not good, crystal because it there's pressed? seams. Oh, it's pressed. I almost missed that because it's yeah. neatly hidden on the edge of the it's handle. It's a good press job. And for that, it is $8.95. And it's a sugar dish and it has a daisy on it, which I think is super cute. Caitlin's taking mints. It's all right. Oh, Delia says they aren't full yet. Hey, you <laughs> have to slow your roll though because you're only 15 and you got a long time to collect the collectibles. All right, tarnished silver. This is Hold a on. lot of times. Um, did we say how much that costs? Yeah, you did. Oh, two bucks, and I'm gonna sell for eight ninety five. Okay. All right. So this was ten dollars, and usually oh six ninety five. It's a better deal. It's a better deal. So we're still talking about this. Sorry. Focus. <laughs> Trying to tell them about the silver. All right, you tell them. What are you gonna tell them? I just wanted to tell them that this is actually really thick. It's like probably close to a quarter inch thick in a lot of spaces, eighth inch in some, but you don't really see that a lot of times in the tarnished silver stuff. It's like really thin tin that's been so plated. it's electric electroplated nickel and do you know how i know that did you look at the thing yeah so if you take it and you flip it on its back side did you, you find it where it says it right on one of the ends where is it it's very very or, or no it's sorry not electric epc what is that electroplated something i don't know anyways it's so hard to read it but and i know you, you can't see it because you don't have 2015 i can't but i have 2015 and it's right here and I love the little feet. I paid $7 for it, and I wouldn't have normally not paid that much, but because it's so heavy duty with feet, I bought it because I feel like it's worth it. And I'm selling it for $22.95 because it's not your mama's thin silver. It's like the big grandma thick good stuff. 
All right, we have a frame. And another frame. And another frame. It's a set. So just just a heads up, if you guys are channel members, the printables are Electroplated up. copper. Ooh, that's cool. That's next level. I can kind of see some copper hints, I think. All right. Well, there you go. That's why it's heavy. Okay. So printables, I put one in there that is great for putting in frames. And it really, I mean, you can paint these frames up all day long judge them up, make them look They're really cool. They are, though. If you put a little picture in there, nine times out of 10, it helps them sell faster and for more money. And the one that I sent you is just, it's like an equestrian out in the desert on a bluff in Wyoming, and it's cool. So that is the printable. So make sure you guys check out the community tab if you're channel members. So There's 20, two others as well, but that one was the cool one. $22.95, and I paid $4 and $2. So I paid $6 total, I'm gonna sell them for $22.95 as is and they're like thick heavy duty they're not chintzy i mean they're not like metal they're definitely like cast yeah but they're a good sturdy weight and i think they're beautiful as is but you this can also one is resin them. oh yeah this one too okay plaster resin whatever it's he what, is that, that one was heavy no oh no this one's heavier hold that one. Oh. the glass is thicker in that one too yeah this one's serious business but you get two for 20 you know ironically that was the cheaper of the two $22.95. Someone must have thought that that one was fancier. You know, they do that at the thrift store. If they feel like it's fancy, they bump the price up a little on you. My senior thrift store charges retail and more for frames, and they're not even cool. Leslie, you got to tell them, look, Jamie's selling cool frames. And yeah, if those don't sell and they make it to my shop, I will absolutely put a cute black and white picture in there because it helps them sell. So this is the exact same post box that we put in our video from Friday when we redid the front porch, kind of gave it a little uh, lipstick makeover. It was part of the collab the whole... that we talked about earlier with all of our friends, yeah. and for all of our business coaching friends. Um, ours, I bought wholesale and I didn't pay $5 for it. So they're a lot more on our website for the white ones. This one's like a chippy green. Um, I paid five bucks and I'm selling it for $29.95, which is about $10 less than the white one we sell. So if you've been wanting one and you want to paint it and you want a good price, Plus bonus. Or if you just like green chippy. This green, this color is, it's 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 coming, guys. Yeah, Watch Joanna for. Gaines just painted her kitchen cabinets that color. I'm still on the fence, but you know whatever. If you like it, I I want to sell it. I don't it really you. ever foresee our cabinets going anything but white or like a light wood, not a yellow wood, a light wood. Odelia says we can have a series called Learning How to Do Grandma Stuff with Odelia. <laughs> Today, Odelia and I both worked at the shop for about three hours together. We had a lot of fun. We tested out candy. We looked at the new stuff. We took pictures of old stuff. Odelia is super fun. She she always has a good time, and she's always happy to do whatever. All right. So this was, it's maple. It was originally $55. Quick, tell us what this is. We know what it is, but, you know, go ahead and comment if you know what Seth this is. Seth uh, thought that it was for spices. I wanted it to be for spices. He's obviously not a gambling man. I, it's for I always go straight to food. I'm like, can we make that be something for food? I mean, yeah. <laughs> but for $14.95, which is what I'm going to sell for, you can make it whatever you want. It's maple. You know what? I think it's just the perfect size. You could put like brushes and stuff in that. You could probably. Or you could put IOD ink in it. <laughs> yeah, that also would work. And it's spinning. It does spin. It's like a lazy Susan, but I'm not. It's in its original Maybe plastic wrap. It's from wrap, like the '70s. So I'm not gonna take it out of there. So if you've got uh, like a man cave that needs a really awesome poker chip holder, this one is next level. Yeah, they're all guessing right. They know what it's for. Knitting made a big comeback a couple of years ago. You know, there are some really cool things that are being knitted right now. Don't, careful that I, that I display see. cube. The display sold cube. one of these last week, and we're gonna sell another one. I found it. It's $14.95. And it's for your collectibles. And it's so that way you don't have to dust the details. You just dust the outside. I'm going to give you a demo. We're going to show you how it works. Because <laughs> apparently nobody can figure it out on their own. I just, you know, it's, it's, it's a visual show. So let's visualize it together. Oh my goodness, I just took that dog next level. There you go. Boom. Tired of dusting your collectibles? Want to just use a rag and Windex? You need a collectible cube. Fourteen ninety five. We only have one that I know of. I have thirty more tubs to. I feel like it went from something sitting on the shelf to borderline diorama. Yeah, it's awesome. Odelia, what are you talking about behind Odelia? I didn't hear anything. 
Oh, Odelia says, because I think Les wanted to send me something and my mom said no. I love Les and I love stuff. I just think that Les is more. <laughs> All right, so these last week we had just the bunnies and we sold out of them. And this week I found one more bunny. What? And a duck. So these are Goble, the same maker as Hummel. This is the 1984 spring figurine, and this is the 1985. And today, they're friends, and we're selling them as a set. And I think, I don't remember, I think I said 1995 for this set, but we'll wait till Caitlin drops the link. Because I cannot remember. These are from the, the collectibles tub. So this is Nagoya. $12.95. $12.95. That's awesome. $12.95. You get both. This is the Nagoya Japan National Silver Company. Oh, does the not Dresden man and lady fit in the box? No. Does not They're have a They're about table. a head taller. Missing so the label. That came from. Is this from Sue? Diane. 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 This is cool, Diane. Thank um, you. And twenty nine ninety five, I believe, is what I'm charging for it. Gustavo says, "My mom loves your content." Well, Gustavo, tell your mom that we love her. Um, this does not have a ladle, which honestly, what I do with soup tureens is I don't worry about the lid, unless they're complete. And then I just use these to plant in, because they make that the cutest little plants. That actually would be really cool centerpiece planted, I think. $29.95. And then you have the bonus of having the uh, platter. So, yep, I think those are super cute. And if you had like a diamond bit, you could probably drill holes for drainage in the bottom. Yeah. Um, or just put some rocks down there. Because Maybe I'll do a little demo in a video. We've got spring coming up and Jamie wants to do the whole front porch and flowers and stuff. I also want to hire a gardener. I vetoed that in the last por uh, porch makeover because it was snowing later that day. He told me no, guys. <laughs> just so you know, he tells me no all the time. All right, let's talk about the pewter animal set. The pewter, we had an anteater, but Jean needed that for her mom. There was something about an inside joke, and I was like, yeah, just take it. Is there, are there well, a bunch of more. these? Are they all in the box here? Yeah, uh, no, they're all in there. Oh, boxes. these are tiny. I'm going to bring them up and show you guys. <gasps> I'm selling a, the whole set of it's pewter. It's like a baby animals. camel. It, it, it is. Well, I think baby camels might be bigger. There's I think a, this might be an old camel, but it looks like a baby there's camel. There's another one. Hey, make sure you're not getting those boxes mixed up. Oh, they're not all, they're not labeled. And then there's like the grandma from the, oh, this is the grandma with the bears. Here's the baby What's camel. What's the Disney movie with the bears, Zeb? Brother the Bear? Boy, no, no, the one where they turn into a bear. Brave. Brave, is that it? I think so. I don't know, there's an Indian grandma and I swear this one looks just like it. It's uncanny. So I'm selling this whole set for $19.95. Originally they sold for $18. I believe this is a wolf. Wolf? Wolf? It's, it's wolf. not it's not a wolf, wolf, wolf. It's not a roof. It's a wolf. Brother Bear, that is the movie. Oh Dale, you got it. Thank you. Wait. That's the movie. I said then. that first. I know, but I thought it was wrong. Kayla <laughs> Ivy says, I think I need those. Like I would love those. Well, Ivy. Use your employee discount. All right, so $19.95 for the set of five. Is there five? Mm -hmm. what, where's the big swan? Oh, oh no, I it's a pelican. It's then last but not least, the pelican that's eight sizes bigger than everything else. There we go. It's super so, detailed. I love them. Yeah, they're really fun. I'm hoping that there's more of them as I get through the boxes, but. I was happy to find these. Odelia, we'll give you a hope chest. It'll probably be a plastic Tupperware box, but it'll be cool. Oh, oh there's a bonus oh, one. Oh, is it emu? We'll throw that one in too. I think that's in the picture. I'm pretty sure this is an ostrich. Aren't ostriches and emus the same? No. I, I'm not up on my zoology. Kurt says, pelicans are pretty big, but probably not bigger than a camel. I know, the proportions are off, but you still get the whole set for $19.95, so you do whatever you want with it. I was fishing <laughs> off the dock in California as a kid, and I had a pelican come in and s snatch my fish up, and it was pretty traumatizing as a seven-year-old. 
I think the hope chest, you can get it whenever you move out. You don't have to wait until you get married. I'm pretty sure the pelican was about as big as I was. <laughs> We're not living in 1945. You get your hope chest when you move out. Oh, yeah. You don't need a man to get all your stuff. Yeah. Okay, we have a lamp, and then I think we're on to painting stuff. Um, yeah, and I'm going to show this little fiesta. Oh, we have the big topiary, the oh, Hummels. I'll show But it. I'm going to show the Hummels while you paint. Oh, careful. This is like Hollywood Regency. Is it? Yeah. Well, that's what it's called. I don't know. It's metal, not resin. Um, and it came from Miss Diane. It's a sconce. And it's got a really old plug, so plug it at your own risk. And no, Zeb, you cannot change this out for them. I wouldn't change that one. It's not broken. The okay. other one was. Okay. Zeb likes I'm sure this is fine. I could probably go grab a bowl. We'll test it right now. Okay, show them. So she says, Anna says you're supposed to get your hope chest to fill up before you get married. So what? <laughs> I feel like rules are made to be broken. All right, so. Oh, and the steampunk clock, too. Thank you. Caitlin, how much is this? This came from Diane. So I would have paid probably up to 5 or $10 for it. Diane says the pelican looks prehistoric. Yeah, it could be. I'm waiting for the price on this, though. It's coming here. Okay. Well, Caitlin's going to drop it. We'll repeat it. it. Just a... watch the comments real quick, please. please. It needs a lampshade. Did, did it have a lampshade, Diane? I don't know. I don't know. I I'm going to plug this shade. in. Wall lamp, $26.95. It's already sold. And I'm not saying it comes with a lampshade and I didn't put it Look in. Look at that. And it works. That's good because I didn't check it. That would have been embarrassing. Hello. All right. Spe steampunk clock situation. This thing is pretty big. I love that. Like I'm if no one buys that, I might hang that in my garage. <laughs> Please somebody buy this. I love it so much. It would be really cute in a teenager's room who loves steampunk. This also came from Diane, has a clock in the middle. I think it would be cool, it's cool as is, but you could paint it also and add extra steampunk parts. Um, uh, $59.95. Odelia says steampunk is sick, and somebody, Rashonda, says she wants you to build hope chests for the girls. The question is, where do we put them? I think their rooms are full. Their rooms are full. And I'm all for great things, but I'm also not a fan of things that don't fit into my space. My grandma had a step stool slash high chair. Just like that. Just like this, all growing up. I sat at the table and had many a squeezed orange juice from her orange trees in Mesa, Arizona. And, hold on, let me give you the full pan. And we would do puzzles, and I always sat in it. This one's in really good shape. I think it's from the 80s. It's a great 1985 powder blue. It does need the seat recover, but these are not hard to recover the seats. You just pull back these tabs. I've covered like a million of them. I don't think mm -hmm. they can see the tabs. Oh, sorry. There's tabs. So you, use a, you get a very strong man or just do it yourself, but I don't like to hurt myself. You pull these tabs back, and then this top pops off, and you can use like oil cloth or whatever fabric you want, but I like something kind of... If you're wanting Plastic to do it yourself, just pull it open with some pliers or, or a screwdriver. Yeah. It's pretty simple. In my case, it's going to be Zeb. I'm going to put new fabric in there, and then we're going to use this because we always need a step stool, and I'm going to keep it in the pantry. Did you buy that for $8? I did. Okay, so uh, When I sold them, I sold them for like $69.95. When I, I was going to say, what do you sell them for? But I'm going to sell them now. And this one, hold on. This I am not shipping. As you can see, it's five foot four and a half, just like me. Well, five foot four, and it's a topiary. Ivy is kind of dated, but I might leave it on there, but it actually has this really great like wrought iron um, base below it. So if somebody bought it from my shop, which is where I'm gonna sell it, they can totally take the ivy off and put a different floral or just leave it as is. And it has this really great like base on the bottom. I paid $30 for it, and I'm gonna sell it in my shop for $99.95. And if you go to a fancy floral situation, it would probably cost you like two or three hundred dollars at a florist shop. So there you go. All right, I'm coming back. Hold on. I don't know where Zeb went. He probably went to go to tell Odelia to stop telling people that she wants old antiques collectibles. Because we have so many boxes, she will inevitably wind up with quite a lot. You and I are the same height. Tarnia, that means you're the perfect woman. Zeb, where did you go? 
Oh, he's under, why are you downstairs? He's in the basement. I don't, I don't know what he's doing in the basement. Sorry, I was looking for the stamps so I could stamp this. And oh. I forgot that when we were cleaning, so that the cleaning ladies, oh, I'm oh, sorry, I mean, the housekeepers. The come. housekeepers came this week and there's nothing like the housekeepers to get, make you deal with your crap. And we have half of the old part of the house is an unfinished basement slash we use it for storage. And so that's where all that is. Okay, so Zeb's gonna start painting and stenciling and I'm gonna show you Hummels. By the so don't be alarmed. This oh, I is, didn't show this. Who bought this? this I bet I'm looking for this Donna. Box. So this is a boho blue miniature disc picture from Fiesta. Fiesta looks like it's got the big F in there, and I sold it for twelve ninety five. Look how cute that is, and it has the original box. Fiesta glazes are lead free. Homer Laughlin China Company. Ta da! Look how cute that is. And this is from my collectibles box. I found just one, but I'm hopeful that maybe there's more. Okay, found the letter stamp set. If you remember, oh, I painted Mama this. Oh, Mama Bear Blue bought it. I painted this last week. Oh, he, they, she bought the steampunk clock. Oh, we're way up here, and I'm like down below. What are we doing? I don't know what you're, I have not touched a camera. What are we doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, I was looking through my huge box of craft supplies that no one saw me do, which is fine. You don't need to see our box and mess. <laughs> I'm really sad that nobody's commented on that. We've that been playing with fast. new cutouts. Do you see that? I'm going to show them. I'll show them close. It's coming to a website near you and so, to our retailers. Woo! Okay, so this out. was regularly $120 in 1998. <laughs> this is our 1995 Hummel, as in $19.95. And this one is Echoes of Joy. Cute. I will show you the sheep and then I will show you more humble. The sheep, because I can't find sheep stuff anywhere, so I'm making my own. Ty and Mariah came to head up the JRV Woods line for wholesale and retail, and so Zeb is designing it, and Ty is using the CNC and cutting it, and we are super excited about that. It took me like five minutes to so show Ty how to use the CNC our, machine. Our pig, the sheep, the rooster, and a cow cutting board that will be up on the website and probably in the next few weeks we will have a bunch of products available for wholesale to our JRV retailers that already carry our decoupage and stencils. So, ta-da! All right, guys. I am, I am lost for words this evening. What is even going on here, Zeb? They fell over when I moved the sheep. They all just came tumbling down and almost fell on the floor, but I saved it with my foot. Almost on our vintage marble cheese push. Let's move that. Okay, so I painted this last week. In true Zeb fashion, we got about 90% done and I did not get over there to finish it. You did it. not paint it. Tanea painted that. Did Tanea paint this? No, yes, and it's already this. sold and I can't even remember who bought it, but as I was turning the Which video off. I, paint? I painted something gray last we week. We painted the shelves. Oh yeah. As I was turning the camera off, I saw, please don't go paint my sign. And I felt really bad all week. So Tanea painted it weathered wood and I brought it back from last week's haul so that way we can paint it this week. Okay, but well, I don't know what I want to put on there for a saying, so. They want a goat cutting board too. Um, we could probably work that in really easily. And if you buy do... them, I'll make them. How about that? Because sometimes people request things and then like I make them and like one or two sell. Just Who wanted the goat? Carol? Carol. All right. So this is Echoes of Joy. This is another one that's 1995. Hummel. Jamie, what is the color of the miniature Fiesta picture? Oh, Julia says it's juniper. Oh, it says that on the box. It's the exact shade of boho blue. Um, and if you're looking for the paint and the stencils and stamps and all that we used, sorry, um, that's at jamierayvintage.com. Donna says thank you, but it's totally boho blue, Donna. So if you're looking for boho blue stuff, you want juniper. What do you think? White? Should I do some beadboard on that for stamping? Sure. 
Yeah, I showed that. Should show up good on that, right? Yes. This one says knit one, purl one. We've got a Hummel knitter right here. I think this is the ones that are $29.95. They're a little bit bigger. This is a cute little Hummel. I could be on QVC. Oh, this is white swan, not beadboard. Every time you say white swan, I want to say stop looking at me, swan. Is that from Sandlot? No, it's from Billy it's, Madison. Oh, Billy Madison. I have not watched it. I think I've outgrown Adam I don't Sandler. think you've seen that movie since we were like in high school. Yeah, what, Odelia? Okay, Odelia's gonna come say hi. Odelia's- She's kinda cute. She worked at the shop today. She's really hey. feeling like she's part of the team, which she is. <laughs> hey, she's on payroll. She was like, can I have these marshmallows? I said, are you on the clock? And she said, yes. I'm like, yeah, with your discount. I did give her a free uh, belt. She got shoes this last week too. All right, this one is two hands, one treat. Look how cute she is with her little blue bow. I'm trying, what should I make this say? I'm like super lost for what I wanted to say. Welcome, spring. Hello, spring. But it's gray. I want it to be like. Oh. Yeah, see, it's hard. And this is the font I'm gonna use. It's IOD stamps. Can you see those? You don't know either. So I discovered while I'm thinking of what I'm gonna make it say, almost kind of like a new stamping technique. I do it on they cardboard. They said he has risen, you can make it Easter, but did somebody already buy it? So I don't yeah, know. someone already has it. What if they it? bought it and they don't, they don't love, like they are not Christian? So stamping, hold on, Honor hold student. on. I'm gonna tell them this. Okay. So stamping, what I do is I put it on a piece of cardboard with my brush. Then I put the stamp down and the corrugated cardboard gets a little bit wet from the paint and I get that kind of variation and it makes my stamp look really old and antique without even having to sand it. I'll show you guys in just a sec. Um, DDS wants steampunk decoupage paper. Oh. She said that the comment was for you and that I was possibly ignoring her. I was not ignoring you. Zeb started talking and I'm working on not interrupting him as much. <laughs> as much. And B, I designed most of the decoupage paper. I mean, we've been... We'll, we'll have With been, the assistance of Zeb when I can't get Photoshop to work. You guys, we'll have been married for 20 years in August. I, I'm, I don't even know it's happening. Like, and together for 22 years. Yeah. I'm, like, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> you don't even notice I'm talking because sometimes you're just like... Whoosh, whoosh. Yeah. That's because I talk a lot. Where is that? Okay, this is the globe trotter, it's, and he has a basket, and I do believe that the globe trotter is skipping. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you don't watch our channel oh, very much. Where's that little thing that we got? Oh, the little painting. Yeah, the little Shoot. painting. I don't that know where it went. Mary it? sent us a picture, and she painted it, and it says "have has basket will skip," and it's a little stick figure Jamie and Zeb holding a basket with a little bird, and it's so cute. I think it's up on our uh, buffet I think it's in, in our, our room. room. Yeah, it's on our room. If I find it, I'll show it next time. Okay. And this one is the Serenade. Originally $170. $29.95 in our world. All right. Odelia is a ray of sunshine. She's a lot of fun. Our oldest was a lot of fun, too, in a whole other way. And so when Odelia was born, she was... Very, very sweet, and we were so thankful. Our oldest is now an adult, and he Arrington's is great. a lot I, of fun, actually. I spent, like, the good portion of the morning with... I, I could say I spent all day with him. We started our day at 4 a.m. this morning. They went for a nature walk. Let's just say that. <laughs> a heavily armed nature walk. I don't know that that was their intent, but that is all that happened. We saw, like, a hundred deer. <laughs> but it's not deer season. <laughs> Oh yes, the decoupage paper is 18 pound tissue paper. And we're going to get a display in our shop, but the problem is our retailers done did bought out all we had. And so Monday we get it, I think Monday we get enough paper because we ordered like a thousand of everything, literally a thousand sheets of everything. We were real hopeful. Um, and That's we get 250 more of the thousand we ordered on Monday and I think we'll finally have enough after we send out the few orders that we need to send out with the correct blue maps. 
Tan maps. Tan maps, or because he printed out blue and it was supposed to be tan. Long so time. I did a blue sample, right? And we got it back and we're like, man, let's see if we can make this tan. And then I didn't correct it in the order. And so like halfway through, I called them and I'm like, can we just make those tan? like this one, and they are awesome and they're doing it for us. So we divide up tasks, and I put him in charge of dealing with the decoupage paper ordering and the company, and him and Mariah, because she's our retail director, are handling the shipping and all of that stuff, so I'm learning how to let go. And I was like, you ordered the wrong car! <laughs> and here I am, I'm like, I kind of like the blue better, I don't care. I was like, listen, people ordered the brown. <laughs> I'm very, even though I've seen scatterbrained, I'm actually, when it comes to like the real important stuff, I'm very meticulous or I put Caitlin on it and she's even more meticulous. So Caitlin and I were like, well, we weren't in charge of that one. <laughs> we have a fun dynamic because we work with family. It makes life good. In fact, everybody's coming over for waffles tomorrow. Okay. Since we're done with this live, I gotta go buy berries I, and pick up Eliza out of I'm trying to go all seasons, so I'm just gonna make it say welcome. All right. All seasons, all faiths. I'm gonna paint this because Okay, can small. you see the corrugated? You can see like the ridges there and the bumpies. Okay, I'm going freestyle. Whoa, it's got paint all over everywhere. Can you grab me a paper towel? Can I grab you a paper towel? Yep. Because you're cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna tap it where I want the paint to be. I need a... I'm brush. starting in the middle. This should be mostly centered. If not, I'll stencil like some fun flowers on one side. That's the trick. If you, if you don't get it centered and your eyes twitching a little bit, just put some flowers on it. Just make it an us. asymmetrical design. I try to make my words have oh, letters that go like this. I'm gonna bring that down so you guys can see. Okay, you can see my layout there. I actually am crafting. Well, Les said something about when she's done. Oh, Les hasn't talked to her son since 2000. Yep, Les adopted us. I'm pretty sure that we've had Christmas cards and I've sent Christmas cards to Les. You can adopt us less. All right, I'm painting this petticoat pink. If you guys ever hear me talk to Les on the videos and you're like, who is this person? Like, do they actually know each other in real life? You'd think that we do. We've actually never met. We just are friends, we like each other. We understand each other. This is what we call freestyle. It's really easy if you get a mat and just put it all together, but because I don't have a brayer and I'm just using this paint right here on my cardboard to get my, <clears throat> sorry, I got a little wheeze, to get my uh, patented cardboard, it's not patented, I'm teasing, uh, design going. No, oh, Les says that we're all family. I'm glad that we could see that. I love, you know, people talk a lot of trash about social media, but I have had so many blessings and so many good things happen from social media that I just can't, always think it's bad. I actually don't see any of like the stuff that most people are concerned about because yeah. I don't I don't interact with it and block it from my feed pretty quickly. Yeah. My feed is all babies and furniture and puppies. Facebook knows what I like. The one thing I know about this life is that it's not the end and the Heavenly Father has a timetable that doesn't necessarily align with ours. So maybe things don't necessarily get made the way we want, even in this life, but there is time in the next life and all losses will be made up. So I have full faith in that. I got some right there. There's your little Jamie Ray sermon. Okay. Sermon on the junk. Watch out, she'll just <gasps> rob them on That's kind of blasphemous. I feel like it is a little <laughs> bit. Well, I also think that Heavenly Father must have a sense of humor because he made me. If he doesn't, I'm going to be in so much trouble. Yeah, you're probably in trouble. <laughs> you do! We're going to go down. We may as well do it together, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm using this Frenchie. It's also the same as the DIY brush in the Insider. It's 
So you can look, pick, pick this up at jamierayvintage.com. I'm using petticoat pink and I'm painting resin without sanding it or anything. It will stick just fine. Um, and it gets in all the details. Sometimes the right brush makes all the difference. Sometimes I just use whatever brush is clean and then I get really annoyed. Donna Crescent Moon says the petticoat pink is a good spring color. It is. So whoever stained this, can you see the back of it? <laughs> People always give me crap for not painting the back. That's pretty bad. Even I'm not even sure even I would leave it that bad. <laughs> Lolly, did you buy this and you never choose pink? Yeah, I think she did say she bought that at the beginning of the video. Are you not scared to get paint on your bench top? I got some on it right here. It's going to nope. wipe right off. And if it doesn't, we could just real quick with sandpaper, drop some more oil wax on that spot. And it's the oil wax is great. It's been super solid. So this paint is water soluble. And so it would just sit on top of the countertop because it's been oil waxed. I, mean, I have some on the counter off. right here that I'm going to wipe up in a minute. But if I get like a wet paper towel, if I don't let that sit on there for days and days, it'll be fine. Lolly. Lolly bought this. All right. Uh, she said that at the beginning. I know, but I forgot. She hates to paint over my stuff. Maybe you need more pink. God, maybe God wants you to have more pink, Emma. All right. What are you going to do to fix that to make it not be brown? Well, I'm not going to mix every color in the rainbow. Well, if you put oh a, my gosh, this is so thick. That apothecary is almost like salt wash. It's not going anywhere. Oops, just the crumbs. Sorry, Lolly, I got you, girl. Okay, did you want it orange? I don't actually have orange in my house, Lolly. You're gonna need to text me in advance and let me know you're purchasing something. Be like, I'm feeling like purchasing and then I'll go grab my summer crush or better yet, the Home Depot orange, otherwise known as, what's that color? Fire starter. Fire starter. I'm sorry, it's Home Depot orange. And Debbie says it's not, but she made from an apothecary, which is her own color. I'm So I just want you to see, remember how I tipped it over and nothing came out? Just added water to it and it's kind of gloopy, but now I actually have paint. That doesn't happen with latex. If your latex paint is gone, it's gone. And it never come back. I'm almost done here, and I think... <laughs> Lolly's face, you don't have orange, not at home. <laughs> I'm doing a paint blending technique, otherwise known as Lolly did not want pink, and I like her. There might be hint of pink, Lols, but we're going to make it do. And then I'll white wax it. The E was a little light, so I've gone over three times. Hopefully I don't have too much oh, ghosting, which is... My, this is why I always wear my hair up. Hopefully I don't have too much ghosting, which is what happens when you kind of do stamps over stamps. Hey, you're getting pink on my thing. You gotta calm down over there. You gotta swipe it like a windshield wiper. Actually, I'm dabbing. I'm gently dabbing. Donna's, or um, Lolly says thank you. What is the percentage of smalls to furniture in your shop? Oh, I probably have like 10 pieces of furniture and the rest is smalls. Yep. I don't sell that much furniture, probably because it's covered in smalls. We used to sell tons and tons of furniture, but the market in our area has shifted a little. Yeah, smalls is where it's at. If I ever get a bigger shop, which I am currently working on getting, I will have more furniture. All right, you guys see it's already pre-aged, ready to go, mostly centered, mostly. But I think I want to do some flowers on there anyway, just because I think it'd be fun. So, if you hate it and you get it, I'm sorry. You can ask news about the shop location, but I'm not under contract, so I ain't saying nothing. It's a piece of property that's not on the market, so I ain't letting that cat out of the bag. Nope. Just know that I was really bummed because I couldn't buy our property because our landlord sold it out from underneath me, essentially, even though he said he would sell it to me. And I then remembered that God has a bigger plan than, than I do. And I chilled out. And about a week later, I told Deb about this property and said, hey, you know, we've loved this property forever and we need to ask about it. And he's like, it's not for sale. I was like, hey, 
you never know till you ask. And so we found out who it was, we contacted him, and they I gave believe us. my exact words were, I guess if we don't ask, the answer will always be no. That's right. And they gave us a price, which is the first step, the sale. So it's it's a big price. It's a big price tag situation. But it's a really great property, five thousand square feet plus an extra building. Um, and on quite a bit of land. I mean, not like acres and acres, but. Enough. Enough. And. Enough land. In Lehigh, so we're super excited. We're hoping it turns out. Which, I don't know if you guys know this, but it is really hard to buy property in Lehigh right now. Utah has the number one economy in the nation, and we don't have enough houses for the amount of people that live here. So it is like the Hunger Games. We are like, people gave us so much crap when we bought this house. They're like, that house is horrible for 260,000. Uh, yeah, there is nothing under 300,000. In fact, we found a house oh, yeah. the other day for like, what, 250? She's like, we can flip that real quick and Harrington can live there with his buddies or something, or we can sell it. It was 250, We're, uh, we contacted our realtor. Junk. It was worse than this house oh, was yeah. and by, and by a long shot, like a lot, lot worse, not even a cool old house. It was built in the 50s and needed like more work than this one did. Yeah. It was 250 and they didn't, our realtor called us back. She's like, they have like so many cash offers. They're no longer taking any offers. Like they're not showing it anymore. Yeah. They're not showing it anymore. And it had been on the market like three days. We do not have a beach like California. We do have a lake called Utah Lake very close by, but you can't hardly swim in it because it's usually infested with Ebola, E. coli, or I don't know, algae bloom, something. All right, this has a lot of paint on it, so I'm just gonna let it air dry. But you guys get the idea. Once it's dry, I will flip it over and I will paint the top, and I'm actually gonna paint the back too, Lolly, because it looks like poop. So I just, Literally, it looks like poop. I just did a real light distress on this. I can't get this price Once down. we wax this, it'll all even out and look great. Um, it's kind of wet now, because I just hit it with some water but kind of just brought some of that detail back out, just real light. I didn't want to do a super heavy distress. Target says 250 is cheap. My friend, 250 is basically like you're buying the lot. It's not really a house. Yeah. Like we had a house here, but you guys saw what we did to this thing. We spent more money gutting it than if we just built it new. Um, hold on, wait for it. We're over time, but I'm gonna stencil give you an idea and not to sound bougie but our house appraised at 625,000 without the basement finished that's oh, insane i promised people that we would tell them what we spent and what we uh and what it appraised for and what uh you know its value is now that we're done so i mean know. that was coming up in a video but we can just tell them now well, not everybody watching this knows they won't all know yeah we'll, we'll tell it again but yeah so we paid 260 for it um, I haven't looked at every single receipt, but we probably put about 150,000 of our own money into remodeling it. Two hundred. Yeah, we, we did a couple extra things that we wanted to do, so it might be closer to 200. The ship lap just kept adding and adding and adding. And adding. Four thousand pieces times six to eight dollars a board. But the house appraised at 625 with an unfinished basement and like still some uh, some little things that needed to be done. Yeah, so finish. that's like another 500 square feet down there that we need to finish that didn't even make it into the appraisal. So I feel like our little investment really did it. What's going on with your letters? They, they're my cardboard technique, don't worry about it. Is it gonna stay like that? Yeah, I might go back over it again, but I was showing them how you like pre-distress with the cardboard. Oh. But anyway, it's, it's been a huge blessing and it was worth every effort that we put into this. Yeah, you can get like maybe a real small townhouse for 350, Jasmine, it's, it's insane. But we also, like I said, we have the number one economy in the nation. It's, so there's like Harrington had one job and then he got a better job and... And then he got a better job. And now he will no longer even think about working for me because I'm like, yeah, I'm not paying you that much. <laughs> what is the industry in Utah? Utah, we have a lot of tech. We have a lot of entrepreneurs in Utah. Lots of entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. um, lots of construction lots right of now because they're building homes and infrastructure like crazy. Yeah. 
and then we do have quite a bit like in park city we have a lot of like tourism yeah, there is we have a, a lot, lot of skiing of, there is a lot of tourism actually like we've got several really cool national parks like moab um arches bryce canyon yeah oh and this house like other than the addition that was not you would not want to have kept it. This upper part of this house is like 900 something square feet for 260,000. Yeah. <laughs> so not, not super huge. Um, but yeah, we have, they call it silicone slopes. All right, you've been doing those flowers there? I don't know where I want to do them. Okay. All right, it's 9.53. All right, I'm stenciling right here. I may just, you know, off camera, I might be like, all right, that didn't work out how I wanted it to. And I'll paint over this and redo it in the morning or something. Monday. Probably not tomorrow. I'll make waffles. No, on I Sunday. like it. I actually, you know what? If we wet distress this and white wax it, but don't white wax this part, I think it'll really tie in well together. Oh. See? Yeah. Flowers really <laughs> oh jinx. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't even say it wasn't even a worry, it was just like a oh. At the same time. I was like, yeah, that worked. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, we paid 260 for 900 some odd square feet that was not livable in existence. Well, it should not so, have been lived in. So the house on the listing said it had 2,200 square feet. It had that garage over to the side, and they were also counting the basement as livable space. It had one bathroom, um, yeah. and the garage was not permitted, and we just tore that down. It was ground level. And the basement is not quite seven feet, right? Or is seven feet? Uh, no, it's like six and a half feet if we're lucky. Like I got a duck in a couple. Hey, places. they raised six kids down there, so it's cool. Six short kids. All right, Jasmine says thanks to you to everyone who plans to check out the spring collab list. Um, and we, when we are no longer live, Zeb will drop that link in the description and the comments. So hopefully one of those links will work for you. So check that out and check out all the videos of all of our business coaching. I am pretty impressed with their videos. They're yeah, way they, better than we were when we were They're making great channels. videos and they got some amazing ideas that they threw out there for spring. It was awesome. Okay. Yeah. So it's not just the Lehigh. It's like the whole Salt Lake Provo, Utah situation. All right, we're going to white wax this, but probably not tonight because I need to let this dry and do a little distressing and, you know. It used to say choose the right, which was cool. You should white wax the frame. We got like two minutes, you can do that. Cause it looks dumb without the white wax. I feel like it doesn't say what it's supposed to say. I mean, it does say welcome, but I mean like it doesn't show as well. And if you're still watching, awesome. Question is, where's the white wax? Oh, I found it. Top drawer? Or? Nope. It's in two locations. I have white wax everywhere. And every brush has white wax on it. Rashonda says, I remember when you looked at this house and I was like, what are you thinking? We were thinking that it was the cheapest house in Lehigh and we were going to get it. So if you're new to the channel and you don't know what we're talking about, we just spent the last year and a half remodeling this home and building a huge addition over on the side of it. And there's a playlist with about 60 videos, something like that in there and from start to finish, start to finish. We went through the whole remodel process and now we're kind of going room to room and we'll give you like a whole house tour because we just moved in so like there's still there's still some boxes and some corners and stuff so i am gonna white wax this corbel but because it was pink and there was apothecary there's a lot of paint and i don't want it to like really crack like crazy by heat getting it so i'm gonna let it air dry then i'm gonna take a damp paper towel a wet distress it to bring out the detail and then i'm gonna white wax it and it's gonna be good it was gonna be a dainty petticoat pink situation oh i would white wax this too not down in there because otherwise you won't see the detail. Now when you get your paper, where's your towel? All right, there. The mirrors, I don't know. Probably weathered wood and white wax too because I want to make it look all like stone. Oops. I want to take it from classy plastic to stone. They're going to be good. I can remember I'll take a picture when I get them done. A lot of times they sell, so I don't ever re-photograph them. Oh, Let's here, see. wanna do it? Yep. I could tell you were like, well, I couldn't do that because then I'd be across you. Yep, that's fine. No thumb downer yet tonight, what? I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know, we always have somebody that thumbs down.
Okay, so jamierayvintage.com is where you can get the paint. We used petticoat pink, then we swapped that out to apothecary on this. And this was painted weathered wood. We used the farmhand stamp, and we used the hydrangea stencils that are in our accessory pack. And then we have weathered wood with white wax. And that's, oh, and white swan and a stencil brush. We also have retailers. So if you go to jrbwholesale.com, you can find our stencils, our stencil brushes, and our decoupage paper. All right, woot woot. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Oh, there are three thumbs down. And, and three falls. Yeah, someone was like, oh, well, I better go fix that. All right, guys, we'll <laughs> catch you, guys, you later. Good night.